The push for a community college in Erie County intensifies as community leaders announce a plan to spend thousands of dollars to gain support for the cause. Tierra Braddock now with more on the campaign and what those organizers hope to accomplish. Tierra. Jill, it is estimated that this multifaceted campaign will cost around $300,000, but organizers say taxpayers shouldn't worry because it will be primarily funded through private donor dollars. Advocates for a freestanding community college in Erie County plan on investing thousands of dollars to launch a campaign aimed at building support from citizens. The campaign will include extensive media outreach along with TV and social media advertising. Erie's been outside, hasn't been led into the club of community colleges that are splitting $300 million a year every year. For, for, for workforce development, remedial training, certifications. Ron DiNicola is the co-founder of Empower Erie, the nonprofit organization responsible for drafting up this plan. He says the ultimate goal of this campaign is to make sure the State Department of Education and lawmakers see how much Erie County residents want and need a community college. If we have to mobilize our citizens, which we will, to go to Harrisburg, yeah, if we have to uh, uh, provide information to the governor and to the Board of Education, we will do whatever is necessary. This campaign coming as the county's community college application to the state is still pending after two years. We have supplied uh, the Department of Education with each and everything they've requested, uh, the various financial statements, the revised uh, plan, everything they've asked for, we have given to them. Director of Administration Gary Lee says he hopes this campaign will push the Department of Education to approve the county's application. We need to put a, a name with a face and we need to get down there and we actually need to sit down and start talking with the various decision makers. And Lee says he will be in Harrisburg on October 21st meeting with key officials. Jill. Okay, Tara Braddock, thank you.